really great. But I'm not. I'm a menace. I'm a great baby. Alright, let me stop. But bad menace. I can't believe this is a man is depressed. Uh, over here. Over here. I can't get him. Oh. <laughs> She about to scratch me. Uh, guess I was wrong about you catching me. I'm not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Don't struggle or you'll fall. No, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. I'm not helping her. I didn't even tap it. I tapped that. <laughs> a menace to society. This is why I'm bad menace, bro. Because people keep disrespecting me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Well, let me tell my son real quick. Patrols, jumping in, we're coming in, we got. Mm. So basically, I'm just doing a gameplay of right um, Batman. Oh, what is it? Batman. Yeah, just Batman. The Tell Tall Tell Tall series. Don't let Tombstones be your family know, legacy. Mm. Mm. I cannot well, skip the cutscenes just like I don't know. Time to save the city. Why is this figure like that? Man, it's cool. Like in the back, that one in two dollars. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor it's Hill's cold. authority. I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would... Sh well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Why do you all turn like that? Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you, huh. thank you again. So let's see if I can turn this up, David. Subtitles, medium, small. Large, large. Large, 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 large. Everyone, for your unwavering support. Mm -hmm. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. Only a little FaceTime with potential donors. 
Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. Where the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... Our hope is in Harvey. Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime. Where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. You believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but... This night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. This city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being right, blunt. I but don't know when this is going One man gonna... can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility yeah, to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Way. <laughs> in the hopes that their fate <laughs> will never be repeated. By the way, I'm more After episode all one. your parents did for this city. <laughs> How do you skip? Skip this, bro. I don't want to watch the whole thing. To be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. It was terrible. Truly terrible. And tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. It was a tragedy, truly. And I will fight from City Hall to make sure nothing like that ever happens again. Enjoy the rest of your evening. What happened? Oh, I didn't ask that question, that's why. Huh, not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. I'm 
Well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. It's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. How are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like... Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. Oh. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Uh, do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. <laughs> Excuse us, Miss Vale. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary <coughs> evil of politics, Bruce. So we can't let it's nobody in the know that of a he's better Gotham for all of us. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. A decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. The man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying it. Well, the man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. I understand more than you know. Good. You look smart. You dress smart. Glad it adds up to something real. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warning. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. 
I got enough of that as is. So, <clears throat> let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. <laughs> That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew oh. the chance to change. How is it some loss? And which the break? Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing, She's been on sheesh, sheesh. So cold, oh, so. I might turn off my game and move it upstairs where it's warmer, but I might not do it right now. I might do it. My father and my mother go to sleep. What you say? Frank. Oh, Frank! Hold on, let me do something real quick, guys. It's me. I'm turning off the heater. I'm turning off the heater. I'm back, guys. I might leave again. Right, I'm finally playing this boost. Whatever's burning here has resisted everything. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, we fell off a building for this. Yes, sir, he's sure pulling up. I'm cold Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. My feet are you cold. Find out what I'm um, freezing in. You You're so, dog in water. Process. You're bad. You're trash, you kid. Hey, You're bad. Man's got a hollow ground table. Hollow ground table. This is a map of the east side shoreline. It could mean any number of things. It's a little bit on the map. Oh, 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 oh. Those drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. <laughs> mm. 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 That makes sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. <laughs> and in the meantime, <laughs> I saved you what I could. They're kicking me in and beat so. me in. They're rallying on. Yeah, yeah so beat it. Hey, I'm in a bit. Yeah, so beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. It was a. Keep your enemies closer, situation. Hopefully not close enough to stab you in the back. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one. It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. <laughs> I'll check the codex.
Hold on, let me say this real quick so I can um, run upstairs. I'm about to put the game upstairs. It's too cool for this. Hold on, Mr. Ray. I'll restart wherever I need to be. Hold on, Mr. Ray. What is Shadow Edition? Hold on, let's see Shadow Edition. Bye. Bye, Shadow. Hold on, Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray. El Chapo. Um, start with it, with it, with it. I'm still all pop shit. Before I was rapping, I was getting banging. Start the car shit. Oh, the mystery.